Alright, so once you're at life pod 17, now y'all are probably going to need more than just one because I've already gotten two from other places. So, and then go ahead and head into life pod to look around it, just make sure. Alright. And then head back to your life pod. Alright, you're also going to need the motor vehicle bay to actually make the sea moth. And I believe it is titanium ingots, lubricant. Make, go ahead and pick up some uh, creep mine clusters if you don't have any for the lubricant. Alright, there's a box. Nope. Alright, I have already got the blueprints for the motor vehicle bay. I don't know if you saw that in the last video. So I've already got that. But if you haven't, go ahead and find the fragments. Um, I don't know exactly where they are. So, so go ahead and go down to the deployables and motor vehicle bay. So you're going to need titanium ingots, lubricant, and a power cell. Um, not that hard to make. Go ahead and make your titanium ingot and your duplicate. Now for the power cell, you're going to need two batteries and a silicone rubber. So you're going to need one creek vine cluster, the silicone rubber, and then I already have one battery. So we're going to need some copper. Copper and some acid mushrooms. So let's go get that. Let's get the copper first because it's probably going to be pretty easy to find. Should just be here's a couple mushroom, titanium, copper. All right. I don't think it's a good. Because it's not bright. If you turn the light on, they could. They don't want to see my face anyway. Alright, and you get two acid mushrooms for the battery. Wait, hold on. Who's that? Who are we talking about? Alright, go ahead and make your battery and silicone rubber. And then make your power cell. There. Now go down to deployables, make your motor vehicle bay. Shouldn't be too hard to make. There you go. Go outside and release it. Uh, board. And you should already have the sea moth, so you just need a titanium ingot, power cell, glass, lubricant, and lead. So we're going to need some quartz, some more titanium, and some more copper. So let's go get that right now. Alright. Most of that you're. I mean, if you have you are near this tunnel. Just go inside of it. It's pretty good, especially for your quartz. So 
so I believe we need two glass. So two quarts, one glass, and we need four quarts. I need two copper. I only need one because I already have some. And you're gonna need some titanium, ten titanium for the titanium ingot. And if you don't have lead, you're gonna find that in the sandstone. I already have some. That. Mm. Get this case offer. Why not? Use the case offer. Yeah. Break this. Go ahead and collect the titanium. Whatever you get. Just basically just look around for there's a copper. Alright. So so now we can make the two batteries for the power cell. We're gonna need silicon rubber for it. For whatever we need that for. Alright, so let's head on oh, actually let's look for another piece of copper. Because I'm gonna need I'm gonna want another I'm gonna want an extra battery for my sea glide. Alright, so once you have that, you can either just keep looking for some other things, or you can head back to your life pod. I'm gonna head back to my life pod for this battery for my sea glide. Go ahead and make some batteries. Go ahead and make your power cell. Alright. So that. Oh. Let's look and see if we have that already. No, we still need you. Alright, so we have the power cell, we have the lead, so we're still going to need, we can make the glass. So we're going to need eight more titanium and a cluster for the lubricant. So let's head over to some creep vines. Let's go ahead and grab us some cluster. Oh, Alrighty, now go ahead and get your titanium. Um, you can either break limestone, or I think it's easier if you just find some scrap metal. Um, it'll just be easier, faster. Let's see how many. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have four. So you're gonna need six. I have, I need six more for a titanium ingot. Titanium ingot. So here's some. So we're gonna need two more. So let's go ahead and just don't need that right now. Um, don't really need flares. I might come back for those flares later. I'm not gonna well, not. Well, it's supposed to be mine. I called it for me. Collect us a oh uh, actually we don't have any inventory space. So head back to your life pod. Make your lubricant. And your glass. And your titanium ingot. Head back out to your vehicle bay. And 
make it. The demon is advanced, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. And that. There you go, there is your Seamoth. Alrighty. Now that we have our Seamoth, let's actually, if you have made the radiation suit, which I believe I showed you how to make in the last video, um, we're going to go ahead and head over to the Aurora and grab us propulsion cannon fragments um because we're gonna need that to actually abort the aurora and which i hope to do in the next couple of episodes and maybe even the next one we'll see if we can find a propulsion cannon and make it in this video emergency starvation imminent Seek calorie intake immediately. You cannot go near the Aurora if you do not have your radiation suit due to the radiation from the explosion. You've already probably died by now trying to get this close to the Aurora without a radiation suit. The radiation suit is very easy if you do not know how to make it. Um, go back and watch my video before this, I believe, is what it is, where I actually made my radiation suit, and I showed you all how to make it as well. Alright, so we are pretty close to the Aurora now, and you're just going to find it like any other thing, just in some cargo boxes, maybe. Alright, you can open these, some of them give you some things that will give you more water. Ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual right. death. This is just a little salvage we can do that right now. If you would like to get out of your sea moth, you can get onto your sea glide. Or you'd like to do it. Um, a lot of scrap metal out here. So we're gonna need some food soon. This battery is actually very useful. Trust me, later in the game we're gonna want lots of batteries. Just always have your copper. Very important. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get some fish. that before we die out here from not eating. Um, you can never pick up like almost any fish, um, boomerangs, uh, I don't think you can pick these up. You oh, you can. Alright, you can pick up these as well if you would like. Um, any fish would work as long as you can pick it up and cook it. So we got at least one, so let's head back to our life pod, pick that up, and you eat it before we die out here. If you're scared of the ocean, go ahead and ride up the top. It's kind of creepy around there. It's not that creepy. I'm not. I mean. <clears throat> um, then in the game, I will actually show you how to make this thing called a moon pool. It basically... You can put upgrades. No. It you can it's where you store your sea moth. Just a store and put it on your sea moth, you can color it, do all that stuff. You are gonna have to have your habitat builder, which we probably should go ahead and make. I forgot about the habitat builder. That is how you're gonna make your custom buildings, moon pool, aquarium. Honestly, anything like that. Which we might start making more videos. Consider discovering. 
specialize in the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. Vital signs stabilizing. Let's do a self scan real quick. She's still normal, that's very good. Let's get him again. Watch the light again. Oh, listen to your radio. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Thanks, Karen. That is actually going to be very important later on. We are not going to head there yet, but we definitely will. To in order to beat the game, you are actually going to have to head over there because you are going to need a tablet in order to get to the place to shut down the laser to beat the game. It's very. It, I'll show you how to do all that. Where do we get there? Oh. You really don't need to go to the laser and shut it down until. I mean, honestly, I don't think. Um, I didn't do it until I started getting calls from some of them saying like they're coming to get me right now. They will actually put a timer on your screen for 30 minutes. You have to play the game for 30 minutes more. Yeah, and they will come and get you. That's not going to be nine, 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 nine hours in real life. It's going to be that in the game. But the countdown timer is like for legit 30 minutes to get away for them to actually come and get you. And when they tell you, Marty, the day that they play these games. Alright, pick up whatever. We're looking for some silver to make some stuff for Habitat Builder. You're gonna find your silver in those sandstone things. And we're actually gonna end this video here in just a second. Now that we've made this map, um, I want to make so. In the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this. In the next video, we are probably uh, let's set up my iPod. All right. So in the next video, I'm going to work on getting the Habitat Builder. Once we get the Habitat Builder, I will work on getting flashlights, stuff like that. And once we do that, um, head over, get the propulsion cannon, make it, all that good stuff. This might take a couple videos, just depends. Do all that good stuff. Um head over to dry land, get the tablet, and eventually once we start listening to more radio calls, they'll eventually tell us, and before that even happens, there's going to be a lot of things, this is not just in the next video, it's just I'm telling y'all overall this is what we're going to try to be doing. So in the series we're going to be going to the Aurora, getting this stuff, building our own habitat place. Um, Give me the portion again and get into the Aurora, building our own custom buildings, getting to dry land, getting the tablet, shutting down the laser. So, yeah. So, I will see y'all in the next video. And for the next video, out of that, we're probably just going to get the propulsion cannon, flashlight, no, the habitat builder, flashlight, propulsion cannon. Maybe head over to dry land, we'll see. The dry land is probably going to be in the next couple videos. But I will see y'all in...
the next one.